Okay, today we have Taro 3020 prop. Uh, I've cut these down to a two inch. In fact, they're ever so slightly. It's going to be two mil longer than the stock props because they still actually fit. Uh, now, I flew these yesterday after the Triblades video that I've just uploaded, just before this one, and I ended up not recording the flight. I was actually recording while I was talking to a gentleman, and I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> and then when I started the flight, I stopped the camera. And then I, I caught a branch on punching out in 3D mode. I was just about to try them out, and it flipped all over the place and splattered bits across the floor. I was good, I missed it, but you can imagine. <laughs> this is the only leg that I haven't broken. And there's, there's actually bits of carbon missing in all of these joints that I've just tacked them together with super glue, wrapped some thread around, and then doused it in more super glue. And they hold. The, the first one that I repaired broke again yesterday, and then I broke two more. <laughs> it was a good crash. And this one, there wasn't any damage to it, but I've taken a precautionary measure. I'll put a better photo up now, I can't see too well, but just wrapped the thread around basically. So all the parts where there's a cut out hole, and there's only two pieces of carbon sort of a structural strength, it, it's a bit tougher now. I don't know whether it'll hold, but it'll fly, and that's the main thing. I also left my Velcro strap on the bench, so I've only got this tiny little rubber band from a Bio 104. We'll see how it goes. Oh yes, if you didn't notice already, also smushed my camera up pretty bad. Now I'd, I'd tacked a bit of hot glue on top of the lens and touching this, this red mount piece. So it effectively it, it held it from wobbling about in, in, in place because otherwise it's just got double sided foam on the back. And I was getting slightly less yellow with that, but it also held the focus in place really nicely as well. Well yesterday, when this squished upside down, the lens was held there and the camera was down and it just popped the lens off. The epoxy holding the lens on popped off and there were several components missing and the little inductor was mashed so that one's a goner. Uh, the video transmitter is probably still okay so I might try and separate that out but for the moment while I'm trying 3D tests until the new frames get here, <laughs> this one's going to stay without a camera. I guess these need a balance definitely but one thing I noticed yesterday with these let me put that into rate mode is um, there's not as much torque at the bottom end like it's, it feels quite flat until you get sort of midway and then they bite really hard right at the sort of can't really show too well here but sort of 80% they bite really hard see that there's just there's not a lot down the bottom end but if I press it up wait for these people to go Yeah, there's not really enough space here, so I'll have to show you in a bigger area, but once you get to sort of 70-80% on the stick, they bite in hard and kick out some, some extra power. I think these have got more power than the other blades that I've tried on it. Now they do feel, they've got noticeably slower, oop, noticeably slower cyclic rate as well. Now the tri blades were a little bit slower than the five blades. No, oh, that didn't break one and uh, the four blades were faster and the five blades were even faster still. I kind of expected that as well. Um, now the tri-blades were unexpectedly rubbish at inverted. So let's try that out. You can see how far out of alignment that front motor is. That's really bad. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if I can get it over. There you go. <laughs> it's like 10 degrees out on the angle that front right or left as we're looking at it now. It seems all right, though. Considering the frame's not the right shape, 
<laughs> they do all right. Not bad at all, doable for 3D. Still think the stock blades fly 3D better, and I haven't tried the five blade with 3D yet. Alrighty, King Kong tri blades arrived about an hour ago, so I put them straight on here and came out for a fly. This is a 850 Nanotech 25 to 40C. Uh, it performs pretty similarly to the Rodeo battery that I've been using. Uh, it starts raining again. I just waited 20 minutes. Can't believe that. I'll give it a few minutes. Because it keeps spitting and then having a little sprinkle and then stopping. Um, we'll see. Okay, nice and quiet, they seem probably balanced well, they're not sending my accelerometer off, even those little tarot I just tried did that, okay, yeah, there's, there's no aggressive bite at that bottom end, kind of like the other tri blades I expected. Okay, yeah, if you really demand a, like a, a massive throttle stamp straight away, they're a lot less than stock. But if you just feed it in and let it build up just to like a half second, they're pretty good. Okay, they, they fly great. Oh, yeah, 3D. Now the other tri blades were really bad, so I'm prepared just in case. No. Okay, okay. Why are those chasers so bad then? It's EYS, sorry. <laughs> Look how far that arm is out of alignment. <laughs> it's amazing this thing flies at all, it really is. So I, I mean, I'll have to do some actual flight tests, uh, flight longevity tests, which I still haven't done yet because I was too busy smashing the quad up. It's not really fair to like try and assess its TikTok ability with Bad alignment. <laughs> yeah, they're not they're not as nice for 3D, definitely, as the the quad blades and I think the tarot's are slightly better. The little cut down two blades are slightly better as well. Now the thing that's jury still out on these is the the actual. Oh man! Wow, that was flying so good. Look at that arm. What? What? 
How does that fly? Wow. Anywho, let's try that again in a second. This <laughs> is really nice. Um, the jury's out on these ones basically as the root attaches to the hub. They look really similar to stock ones and very similar to the five blade props that were a bit more durable than stock, but they, they, I don't think they're going to be as durable as those little yellow tri blades that I tried yesterday. I just didn't like anything else about those little yellow tri blades. But what the f Really? I can't, I can't resist. I have to fly it. <laughs> this could be fatal. What? What? How does it fly? How does it fly well? How does it fly 3D well? What the f black box magic stuff is in this? What? I don't get it. I do not understand. Wizardry. So they took a hit there. Nothing looks massively out of alignment. I can't, I can't see anything wrong with that at all. Yeah, that's, that's good to go. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, I got a slight wobble in. <laughs> oh dear me. So, take from that what you want, but if these blades fly good on a quad that's absolutely mashed, I'm guessing they fly awesome on a quad that isn't. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs>